Assalamualaikum and very good morning to all of you. Welcome back to another Ferran Technology Public Live webinar. My name is Syahadatul Iskandar Ben Rosli and I am the Senior Application Engineer at Ferran Technology Samurhat. Ferran Technology Samurhat is the only licensed, approved and trusted Dassault Systems vendor in Malaysia. We are a group of experts for all Dassault System solution suites. One of the most sought after solution in our arsenal is called 3D Experience Platform. A unified platform combining all four major aspects of any engineering organization, uh, so-called as modeling, okay, analysis, simulation, and collaboration in a single platform. Okay, for today, please, uh, based on our interactions with industrial players in Malaysia, uh, we have identified that one of the key survival factors during this COVID-19 pandemic is your organizational capability to operate remotely. Okay, from here, we actually have a lot of fields to cover. Among them is the question of how can we collaboratively manage our projects without having so many update meetings to gather data from our people who is currently scattered across the nation working from home. Okay, so that's the main question that we need to answer when we want to uh, be survive, uh, when we want to survive during this COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, so for that, please welcome our senior application engineer from Ferran Technology Samberhad, our key speaker for today. I will bring Mr. Nor Azrin Nor Azman to the stage. Welcome Azrin, good morning. Good morning, Iskanda. Pleased to have you here. Uh, we haven't seen uh, physically uh, for a long time. So this is a good opportunity for us to sit together and discuss, uh, although in virtual world. Okay. Uh, Mr. Nur Azrin Nur Azman is the Senior Application Engineer at Ferran Tolis uh, He is our technical expert of the day and he will be delivering our webinar title for today, Managing Projects via Connected Platform. Okay, uh, as I mentioned, one of our uh, one of, one of our product is uh, 3D Experience. As I have uh, put the scrolling text down down there, okay, and we will be discussing how we can utilize this 3D Experience platform in managing our projects during this COVID nineteen pandemic. So, without further ado, I will pass the floor to Mr. No Azrin to continue with his uh, presentation on the webinar. Over to you, Azrin. All right, thank you Iskandar and Assalamualaikum to everyone. Again, welcome to this uh, session. Um, as mentioned by Iskandar, my name is Norazrin bin Norazman, working as an application engineer at Ferran, um, currently focusing on the data analytics uh, in enterprise data. I um, enjoy providing insights and helping organization, uh, whether it be companies and also individuals with their analytics journey. But today I'm taking a step further, um, challenging myself on a new ground and reaching out uh, to all to inform you on the solutions, the technique that we have and also the services that, uh, that we can provide uh, during this pandemic and the new working norm uh, that we have to adapt to. So in this new era of uh, working digitally that, that has been forced uh, upon us a few years ago and suddenly receive a big push after the COVID-19 uh, disease uh, started to spread out. And then uh, I believe that uh, establishing a connected platform as early as possible is the key to securing both your operational and programs excellent. Uh, before we start, uh, first I'm going to play a short montage uh, on what we have prepared for you today.
program excellence. Discover more. Growing aircraft complexity. Um, Iskandar, um, is there a technical problem with the uh, sound? Yes, uh, during the video, uh, the sound is not coming up properly, but maybe we can replay the video if you if you don't mind. Okay, sure. Hang on. Growing aircraft complexity and high safety requirements bring opportunities for digital transformation to ensure reliable program and configuration management. This new experience for aerospace players delivers efficient interdisciplinary collaboration across the entire development program, from systems engineering to design, manufacturing, and maintenance. Our program excellence solution connects important program stakeholders on the same digital platform to secure program performance. As a result, you can increase revenue because you can identify supply chain issues as early as possible, execute programs according to customer requirements, design to cost with improved governance and operational efficiency, develop product line engineering and optimize product portfolios, capture knowledge and know-how so you can improve and deliver better products. Get ready to develop and execute your winning strategy with program excellence. Discover more. All right. Um, I'm sorry uh, to everyone uh, because you have to see that the same video twice. <laughs> All right. I think we can uh, proceed. So the objective uh, for today's webinar uh, of the, uh, basically to demonstrate or to show how the industry solution experience uh, can be addressed uh, and to address the challenge uh, uh, that are faced by the OEM and also suppliers uh, within an industry. And uh, when we speak about industry, there are 11 uh, industries uh, being supported by uh, the so system itself and using the same uh, solution. What else? Of course, we're going to need uh, the, a different configuration based on the business processes. So as an introduction, so today we're going to focus a little bit more detail uh, on Innovia. Okay. Um, before that, I think you need to explain a little bit uh, on the 3D experience platform. So 3D experience platform is uh, basically a unified platform produced by the source system, which contains uh, all of the uh, uh, the system brands. Uh, some of you might familiar with the Katia SolidWorks and so on, but inside we, we also have a, a lot more other application, uh, including uh, Innovia, uh, for project management and we have for uh, a simulation engine, we have Abacus, we have Tosca, and we have uh, so much more uh, based on the Dassault system portfolio. And last but not least, uh, before I forgot, the uh, we also have the data analytics engine, which consists of the Exalit CloudView and also NetVibes. So basically all of this application working under the same house, under the same uh, platform, and using a single source of truth or single database. I'll give you an example. If you have a 3D model data, and that is your raw data, and of course, if you want to open, you want to edit, or you want to make any changes to that 3D model, you need to open the 3D modeling software or 3D modeling apps, which is the Katia and also SolidWorks. Okay, and that by using this platform, you can use that same data with your Innovia. This is where Innovia, a data-driven a data driven project management uh, comes, uh, comes into picture because it can allow you to link that 3D model of, we call it a, a product development data with your project, project tasks, project deliverable and whatnot. And by having that, it allows you to update the status uh, based on the de based on deliverable, for example, if somebody have uh, completed a deliverable, uploaded them to the system, and then the project manager immediately can identify that that uh, that uh, task status and uh, it, as it will re as it will be updated in real time. So that's the one of the benefit when you have a connected platform. 
Okay, when we talk about the objective uh, of the uh, this solution is to address some of the challenges, then we go to the the uh, challenges that we have. Of course, there are many challenges and countless of them. But here today, um, I've uh, segregated uh, aggregated them into four different. Uh, category. So we have the normal one, the business, uh, product, project, and last but not least, data. First up, the business challenges. So, of course, uh, during this hard time, we gonna see a lot of business challenges uh, faced face by the uh, manufacturer and also supplier. Uh, this is mainly like we identified here. What you are seeing on the screen is basically because of the increased expectation and uh, the race to produce a new model because uh, the customer is shifting every now and then. And to manage that, manage that, we need to remove the silos and also start to integrate our team together because one person cannot do all, all, all many things. You need a collaborative input to, for, so that you can manage the expectation at the right time, at the right moment. That's under the business challenges. And then for the next challenges would be the common product challenges. Of course, when developing a new product at this pace, we're going to need a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, support because now the product uh, that we have is not anymore a single product. It's basically a smart product. It uh, what, what is a, a smart product? Basically, it combines a, a single product with the services. I give you a, a simple example of our uh, beloved Proton. So now they produce X70, right? X70, X50. Uh, a very good product, a very good or well-built SUV, or got all of this configuration, uh, good engine, good gearbox, and whatnot. Okay, but on top of that, they also have what we what they call the high proton functionality, and that same uh, so, uh that same um, services that they provide controls the whole vehicle. This is where Proton can monitor their uh, product. Uh, so it basically brings a uh, customer closer to them. And then when you are trying to get hold of your uh, service interval at the service center, and they immediately can uh, uh, download all the data and then they can analyze based on your usage. So that is a smart product, even though it's uh, a car. Okay. And by having said that, it is important when we talk about product challenges, we need to optimize the portfolio strategy. Why? Because as I mentioned earlier, you have the services uh, like the high proton, that, that thing need to be maintained. Maintain every now and then, as same goes as, uh, as our smartphones, right? Because our smartphones updated every month and every year, almost one OS will be released by the uh, by the manufacturer or Android, it, it can be Android or maybe the iOS. So that's how critical it is. Okay. For next challenges, we're going to go to project challenges. Okay. When managing this type of project nowadays because of the integration between the product and services, I would assume that managing that kind of project is very hard work because you're going to need speed and also pinpoint accuracy because you are racing against time. And to have or to manage that, we're going to need to improve the development activities monitoring. Okay. So you need to keep your teams on the same page. You need to have that visibility or invisible governance to manage your project or program. And last but not least is the data challenges. Uh, this is somewhat uh, we are familiar with the information overload is because right now, especially during the pandemic, 
and then we're gonna have a lot of information coming from multiple sources not only that coming at a very high speed you have whatsapp telegram uh, on the news instagram every day every single day in our life okay so same goes to the organization and enterprise therefore data is extremely important to uh, to, uh, to, uh, to everyone but at all level uh, but then that same data need to be conveyed to everybody else with a different type of information and also segregation okay and because everybody is working online and then we need to capture that data and we need to make sure that we can reuse that lesson learned of the project we need to reuse that know-how okay and to enable all of these challenges that i have mentioned earlier so we have business data project and product okay for uh, we need to have a collaborative platform okay and then for uh, the product uh, a product or portfolio strategy we, we need uh, it is wise to have the product line engineering to optimize them and then uh, to manage the cross engineering domains uh, you, you're going to need the unified configuration diversity and last but not least uh, to make your decision early this is about the decision maker the project manager you need to have a real-time indicators uh, for continuous progress tracking okay so enough of this uh, short theory i think uh, we're gonna go straight away to the demonstration um, i have pre-recorded this demonstration uh, and also uh, you're gonna see we, uh, I'm, I'm using a single uh, login uh, this is for the demonstration smoothness although in each demonstration step um, they're going to be a different user profile involved uh, throughout the development of the uh, uh, demo okay in this demo uh, it's going to compose of uh, one main story around the development of the landing gear in the context of an aircraft so the the main story uh, goes from step one until step five so you have the introduction portfolio up until the collaborative enterprise definition but um, step six until step nine although it is not tightly connected to the main story but i wish i wish to illustrate some processes of the in the uh, industry or an industry solution experience that we have in store okay then we can start so what you are seeing here this is we call it the home tab so the, again i would like to emphasize that the context of the demonstration is a large aerospace company or uh, potentially handling several lines of business uh, although it is for aerospace company i believe because we are basically uh, serving uh, uh, most of the in, uh, major industries and this solution can be easily replicated and configured to meet your uh, expectation and then this demonstration will specifically focus on the development of an aircraft and i would like to remind that so what you are seeing on the screen right now is the main entry point of the project uh, of, of the uh, 3d experience platform so this is a web-based dashboard organized into tab this is what we call the 3d dashboard so each tab consists of one or more widgets you can see here you have sev uh, several widgets you have the media links widget innovia widgets and also 3d swim so this dashboard can uh, be somewhat personal and if you want to share with everyone else or a group of people a, a group of people of course you can share them and all of this widget can be accessible by drag and drop from the uh, compass on the upper left side uh, if you look at your screen right now just beside the ds logo so or you can have all of the widget of course it is according to the role that have been assigned to you as a user okay by having this 3d dashboard so many sources of information can be aggregated to monitor such as for daily activities and also uh, to identify issues that we're gonna see later on uh, so 
and of course it is accessible from any web browser meaning it is fully compatible with all of your mobile devices either you are using it on smartphones uh, tablets or maybe a laptop or pcs okay so here uh, in this example we can see that the user is also connected to the enterprise social network which enables easy sharing of information and ideas which in turn accelerate innovation and allows you to capture that knowledge so you have the communities up there and also you can have a, it can record your conversation and this is what we call a 3d swim basically a facebook like environment specifically for the enterprise and uh, the best part is, is if somebody have an idea and then that idea can be uh, uh, promoted uh, based on the uh, based on your requirement and then being used as a requirement for a project. Uh, so that's how easy it is to use the 3 d way, basically uh, encouraging people to collaborate more within the platform. And then now focus on that. Uh, and, oh, before I forget. There's also, when we scroll down here, doo -doo -doo, okay, we can also see that we have a direct access to the engineering data. It doesn't matter if you are not familiar with the, with the 3D modeling tools like ATIA that we have, uh, but you can always drag and drop all of the 3D modeling or search from the search bar up above and because, uh, and because of that, it will accelerate and secure the collaboration even more. All right, so you you doesn't need to 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 be an expert in 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 Katia to open a three D modeling. So which is good when you are dealing or when you are, uh, basically like approving or reviewing something, uh, maybe some issues later, uh, that yet that you do not have uh to re uh, reopen a, a 3D model outside of the platform. You need, you can open it directly from the dashboard. Okay, now we go to the product and portfolio planning. Okay, so now we gonna play a different role uh, for the product uh, manager in this program. Uh, we're gonna use a product manager. So in this widget, we'll be able to efficiently manage all of the diversity of the portfolio. So you see the models, and then if you click on the vari uh, variability, we have everything uh establish uh, of a referential of in terms of variance and options at at the level of the enterprise so you're gonna ask what is variant and options so i give you a simple example uh, we have a porsche cayman that's a model for you and they have a variant called the 4s and model s okay porsche cayman s so the difference of that variant 4S and S is basically 4S is equipped or configured to have a four-wheel drive system and either either model or either variant that you buy either the, it is a 4S or model S you can always have the option to upgrade your brake system to a ceramic brakes so there you have it you have the model Porsche Cayman variant the 4S and S and also the options is this up, uh, ability to upgrade to a uh, better brakes so this variance and option uh, will be allocated to one or several versions so in terms of this uh, presentation here it will be allocated to one or several versions of different model which is managed by the enterprise so here as you can see we created a variant for different countries based on a uh, specification according to them okay so we segregate by region so you have all of your region there and also we have the options so options we created a group of options according to ata chapter so ata chapter is very important for aircraft industry because it's basically to identify all of the all of this component and all of this component can be interchanged based on your requirement based on your the customer requirement and it, it is especially in very very important i i could not emphasize when you are dealing with the mro division because 
all of your mechanics need to understand uh, what type of component that they need to change and whatnot. So this is basically how we, uh, the general way of this information is presented to the uh, final customer. And then we go to the Bottle version menu. Uh, here, uh, just showing you the ETA for towing and taxing. So in the model version menu, so here is the model. We have a lot of model here. So today we're going to go to the N101E. Again, you can see that variant. Okay, in the model version menu, we manage the allocation of different version of the model. So what this allows the 3D experience platform basically enables you to precisely identify the version, including the concept of branch. Okay. So remember, we have the options and variant. You can use the rule to filter them out. And also from that rule, we can associate the options and variant one by one. So we can use them uh, to manage the option and variant in uh, uh, in a matrix table that you are seeing right now on your screen. For well, this is an example for uh, country. So the rules that you have uh, seen right before is basically to filter or uh, segregate the data based on the option and also variant. Okay, for product configuration. Product configuration allows you to select by each customer, which can also be captured and compare side by side. So this is the customer you have Air Spring, Sumi Air, and you have to need to use the filter engineering definition. This is what we call the 3D filtering. So what you are seeing right now that we, we try to open a specific configuration by Sumi Air. So Sumi Air, uh, they require the aircraft to be in blue color, a combination of blue and white there. We have that winglet uh, in, in blue color. So mind you that we are still using the same model definition. We're still using the same 3D data in the back end. But because of the configuration, we can always filter them and we can always find them. So here now we change to another version, which is the uh, uh, air spring, right? So it, the, the air spring requires the aircraft to be quite subtle. So in other words, a requirement can be made uh, valid for a given option, variant, whatever it is, maybe a range model versions, or maybe based on the work, work instruction itself. So this is a game changer compared to often observe a situation where uh, there is a disconnect between uh, the manufacturing, the design team, uh, the system engineering, as well as the marketing, because now marketing can reuse this data for their job. Okay. Okay, let's move on. So now we got this go to the collaborative planning. Okay. This is where we play the role of a program manager for this program. Of course, a project manager or program manager gonna, gonna need to be able to organize their project, manage their resources and get real time progress status to make informed decision as early as possible. You would not want to make your decision based on something that three days old. Why I say three days old, let's say if you have some some of your project member uh, need to complete this task A and then you ask him or her to send it to your WhatsApp for your reporting. By, by the time you got that WhatsApp, basically it's a an old data already. You would not want that. You, you need and a, a real-time information that happens as, as soon as they updated, that they have completed that task and you need that information just like that, okay? So in this 
platform, we provide embedded project management capability with the differentiator of being directly connected to the impacted data. So as a result, the status of the task is automatically updated by the status of the deliverable. So by doing that, you're going to reduce the project review time and also uh, ensure the detection of deviation from target as soon as possible, as soon as it happens. So this is the widget that we have for project management. This is not the real application. If you want to open the real project management application, you can open it in the new tab like here. So this is the main application for project management. Now we are in 101 project. Okay, you have the same schedule in the schedule view, you have the gun chart, you have all of this necessary information, milestone, face gate views, and everything. And all of the facet of the project surely can be managed and monitored, including the risk opportunity and also associated mit mitigation, uh, mitigation plans like you are seeing right now. So this is the uh, dashboard for uh, in the main application and then you're going to ask about the task how the task is being managed so the task can be efficiently displayed and update in a kanban like widget that like you are seeing here we call this one is a collaborative task widget so there you, there you have it all of your task being managed into the kanban like widget you have your maturity you have draft to do uh, empty completion and then you can see later if you open on the card you're going to see all this description the percentage complete all the deliverable all the information that you need for a task and then later as a project manager because you are dealing with different project on the same uh, in the same time running in parallel a large amount of project related information that you need to analyze so if you have something that we call the project intelligence okay so project intelligence we help you to analyze them through real-time indexing of the information and of course it will speed up the information display with a predefined dash a dashboard like you are seeing here so you have all of your kpi we have the shared performance and the most important thing is the project health so here in the risk analysis you gonna be able to risk uh, to start from the overall view like the risk metrics here that we have you can select them to focus or select points of interest and from there you can always drill down to the level the lowest level of detail there you have it and then you can even see the timeline at the bottom uh, bottom right there you can see when it was created where it is now and what information left at uni and where it is related to so basically you have your kpi managed here in the project intelligence okay so that's about it for the collaboration or collaborative planning tab and next we're going to go to the end-to-end -end change management okay now we are playing the role of a, a configuration manager that in charge of managing the change process uh, from issue up until validation so in this web page these processes uh, shall be tracked with an advanced level of detail if you require it so what you are seeing right now is the issue management widget on the left and you have the 3d review on the right okay we start from the review of the issues that has been reported by the end user that currently directly linked to the 3D definition. So what this allows you, it allows you to uh, have a very precise report and also reducing the risk of a bad interpretation because it is currently connected to the issue register. Okay, so you have the markup there. But if that is not enough, you can always use the 3D markup widget. Okay, here you can see you have all of this uh, hierarchy given to that same issue. You have your CR there, you have your CO, you have your design CA. Anything that is related to that issue going to be displayed in a tree like uh, display that you are seeing right now on your screen. So 
if you drag and drop the model and then in this case we're going to show this issue can has been reported in the context of design review that enables us to be very, very easily capture and also share annotation directly on the engineering data so here you can see clearly what is the annotation is all about right next we have a full change process okay on the left hand side is the change uh, widget and the right hand side is for the change action so a full change process can be implemented to drive all change activities from change evaluation uh, up until the implementation as well as validation so we are gonna go to the uh, main change management application right so here we can see we have the testability between the change requests all of the information is there and then we have also change order and all of the connected change action in the different domain Okay, back to the main window. So now we can focus on the change action. Okay, right. We can change and we can focus on the change action and this will be assigned to people in charge of implementing the change. So we can see that we can get all of the associated information from who is involved until uh, the realized changes. And then, then of course, we're going to have the ability to visually compare between two designs. So we have two different design. Give it a moment. So you have a release design, which is A1. And then you have somewhat in-work design changes, B1. So that's A1 in blue color. Also, it also includes a concept of configuration applicability that will be applied to modify configured instances. Of course, we're going to need again the 3D filtering to filter between the changes. So the official view is the release projected is the currently in work. So when we see in detail what is currently in work, remember the bracket just now, we have the circle profile. No, now here we're going to have a different profile for the bracket so this is currently in work and not yet being released maybe in the approval stage but of course we can always play with the configuration or instances along the way okay so therefore it is possible for us to filter the generic definition to get the result that we need and including the ability to filter against all the in work changes that we saw just now, the projected view, and also the, the release version or the official view. Basically, from here, what I'm trying to convey is that through the experience basically covers the full process and very flexible and widely visible and accessible for all stakeholders. Because right now, uh, if you do not notice that we are still using the same web browser. We are not changing or moving, we are not even moving from our uh, chair to find the 3d modeling or whatnot we're still using the same browser okay so it was the end of our main story we're going to go to the step number five which is the collaborative enterprise definition tab okay so now we're basically playing the role of whoever needs to access the engineering definition to perform uh, modifications or any kind of review or maybe validation. So the 3D experience platform relies on that single engineering definition made of engineering items like you are seeing on your screen right now. So these can either be mechanical parts, electronic component, ingredients, or maybe software as well as uh, any other kind of documents. So this widget basically will adapt to any users and uh, including uh, the one that are not necessarily using the design tools. 
such as the Katia. Because it is very uh, simple, uh, intuitive, and enables user to quickly filter and update uh, the uh, definition or engineering definition. This will ensure a digital continuity from system definition to physical to manuf manufacturing up until the supporting engineering such as the AD marketing department. Because this information can be quickly extracted from the platform. Okay. So while we are here, this is the main, uh, the, the end of the main story uh, of the demonstration. And then what you are going to see after this, um, basically the solution uh, that we have, the complete solution that we have under uh, program excellent. Okay. So we're going to go to the supplier collaboration tab. This is falls under step number six. Okay, now we're going to play a role of user in charge of managing relationship with partners or suppliers. Okay, in this dashboard, he can track all the tasks that have been assigned to a given supplier based on the associated contacts. So here, uh, let me pause that one. So here on top, you're going to see this again the collaborative task this is for the supplier the what type of package you are giving to them the, which, uh, which will display as a card in the Kanban light widget and in the middle you have the projects uh, product structure and also uh, 3d navigate to navigate all the you need to make sure just to make sure the packages that you are sending to them is the right one or not All right, you can inspect them before you uh, send the package to them. So of course, uh, he or she can very precisely manage uh, bookmarks and also the access right uh, just to limit uh, the required contacts data uh, for the supplier. Uh, you can either can edit or can read. Uh, so so uh, this is very good in uh, de determine to uh, control the information to the supplier and here uh, we open another dashboard this is that the dashboard that we have created for the supplier okay we created this dashboard for the uh, for the supplier and then we can share with the supplier later we're going to see what uh, what types of data or dashboard that the supplier gonna have basically it's the same with this uh, dashboard that, that we have uh, set up for them Okay, you have the collaborative uh, task and the 3D play for them to see and also the 3D swim with the community. Okay. All right, you have the bookmarks on the collaboration tab. So now we try to switch to the supplier role. Okay, just remember the, the dashboard earlier. So the, the same dedicated dashboard, uh, basically it's basically designed for the supplier to access all the information, all the important information. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, you have tasks, the community, and also bookmark at a glance. So only minimum amount of necessary data is accessible to him. Uh, he or she can always upload the deliverable, uh, the deliverable, the reports, and whatnot, and upgrade the uh, upgrade or promote the status of the task okay although this is very a uh, simple or brief introduction uh, this is uh, to show how 3d uh, 3d experience platform can enable the managing of supply exchange with real-time follow-up collaboration and also advanced access uh, for the right management okay here you can try to upload anything that he or she wanted to upload okay now we're gonna go back to our main window or main dashboard to proceed with the next step which is the standard component management tab hang on yeah okay now we are opening the standard component management tab okay for standard component management tab, uh, if uh, I'm gonna explain to you in uh, in uh, brief, 
uh, like information only for today because if you want to go more detail uh, you need to more information uh, my colleague has uh, explained and show the atara demo like two weeks ago you can always go back to iskandar's channel uh, in the same youtube link it's gonna channel and uh, find this standardization uh, topic uh, you can, you're gonna see a very in-depth in-depth explanation given by my colleague Fahim. So basically now uh, we, uh, we are playing the role of standard part manager. So as the 3D experience platform can handle multiple programs. So the usage of standard components can be analyzed at a company level uh, just to obtain the uh, purchasing savings uh, that we're going to see uh, later on. Okay, because uh, uh, the standardization engineer later can analyze uh, potentially duplicated parts uh, and determines that uh, if there a cluster a cluster uh, they are similar that can be eliminated or maybe to be reused uh, of course that cluster gonna involve prices and also the vendors and we expect that we are gonna find a bracket or cluster or bracket uh, that have a different prices and also coming from different suppliers. This is what we want to address because we, if you manage, uh, we can manage that when we can do the analysis and we can identify. So there, we, there's the cluster of the bracket. So this analysis is done uh, with the both 3D similarity criteria. You can see from your screen as well as the metadata. You can have the, all of this metadata. So basically, uh, this is uh, the engine of this is the 3D, uh, the Exalate Cloud View. Basically, what, what it does, it basically reads your 3D data, metadata, all right? And then compare uh, them against the what, he, uh, what it thinks similar. So you can find the similarity, 3D similarity, and then, and then you will compare based on your requirement or configuration so as a result of this analysis a favorite part which is colored in blue of course is identified and will be recommended for the entire company as it will generate saving because some of other bracket or other uh, supplier given a uh, might might give you a higher uh, price and why not using the same uh, this is very good for a common uh, item like, such as this one. So taking advantage of the ongoing modification that we saw earlier in the project. So this the so the, the, the designer we can now replace the similar bracket. Now this is using uh, an old bracket we can be replaced with a new recommended one uh, in the whole assembly. So what you're gonna need to do you can need to find them. And last check, you can always do your comparison in the 3D search and find them just to be sure this is the right one. You can even open it and uh, view in the uh, embedded view of the 3D play. So you can always move it around just to make sure everything is right and correct. Okay, when you when you are happy with it and, and, and try to replace them, you can always open the product tree yeah, uh, in the uh, Katia, and then replace all of them all together at once. So here the experience platform basically, when you saw this one, is a powerful indexing and data analysis tool. It can help you to maximize saving on standard components such as this by reducing the number of the duplicated components across all business units because right now you as i mentioned earlier in during uh, the introduction because of the product we are co commonly running on multiple uh, projects at the same time so it uh, you are prone to some of the uh, duplication of parts without even knowing because because of that massive uh, work that you need to manage so uh, hopefully, this type of uh, features or uh, standardization can help you to manage that. Okay, next, we're going to go to the know-how, capitalization, and also automation tab. Uh, okay, this one also, you can have it in detail uh, by going into the Iskandar channel uh, 
and find the know-how automation. This is, I think, uh, four, four weeks ago, given by uh, uh, one of uh, my colleagues. And this is because engineering know-how nowadays is the most valuable asset in the industry uh, because it, or, or it, it prepares the workforce uh, of the future and also to empower every employee to quickly make decision. Okay. And through the experience platform, the know-how or lesson learned can be captured through models or templates of, for design, manufacturing, simulation, and also for your uh, validation. So what you are seeing right now in this example is the uh, knowledge where check rules, which has uh, been developed for aircraft system installation. As on the left hand side there, uh, you have EWIS, which is, stands for Electrical Wiring Interconnection System. So we have set up a rules that automatically checks the two successive brackets are positioned below the minimum allowed distance for an electrical harness. Okay, on, the, on, on your right hand side, you have uh, uh, another uh, knowledge where check rules that checks the minimum distance between the electrical harness that we checked just now against a hot pipe in the same environment control system. Uh, of course, they uh, uh, all uh, it has to adhere or to have uh, a minimum allowed distance between the harness and also the hot, uh, hot pipe. So this type of verification can be reused anywhere in the aircraft uh, for any system installation and also can create, generate uh, or generate important time saving with your automation. Okay. And when speaking of automation, you're going to need uh, the language. I'm going to ask the language of this. Uh, most probably, uh, we're going to, because it is Katia, we're going to use EKL. And for EKL, I can tell you what, if you want to know more about EKL, Iskanda here is your go-to guy. You can open his channel. And also, uh, we can e even email him directly and to ask about EKL or uh, and how uh, he can help you with your journey. Okay, so that's about a little bit about know how. Okay, up until now, we have covered at least eight different processes, starts from introduction, and here we are at the know how for capturing knowledge. And then we're going to go to the last item, which is the business target identification or uh, and validation tab okay the hd experience platform basically provide an analytic solution to generalize visibility of key performance indicator or kpi to all platform members on the left hand side here what you are seeing is basically the weight and balance kpi that can be monitored by taking advantage of single source of product definition that we have seen earlier and concurrent engineering capabilities Okay, so the re, the weight engineers basically retrieves all uh, the the weight uh, the weight value, the center of gravity, the initial metrics, and also the latest evolution of the landing gear, and uh, as well as the ongoing uh, changes. Okay, here what you are seeing is basically uh, to uh, identify or to anticipate the overweight condition. Uh, and take the corrective action uh, at the right time. And to do that, uh, the engineer need to compare the trend of total weight between the latest release and also the new or in work changes currently happening uh, during this project uh, from this dashboard without opening any engineering data, right? So to do that, he has to compare, hang on. So he is opening one of the uh, item and to compare, just as simple as click. Yep, there you go. You have the, your comparison between the new one and the currently in work. So same goes to uh, cost. On the right-hand side, cost also can be monitored via the 
analytic solution that we have. So in this dashboard, the cost called PIT is def uh, defined with a set of KPIs that represent the breakdown of cost KPI. Okay. So when applied to the single configured de uh, product definition, same goes to the weight just now, it basically empowers the decision makers with KPI trend information such as this radar graph you are seeing on the right hand side of the screen that compares different evolution of the landing gear. So there you have it. We have covered uh, all nine processes from the introduction uh, up until the business analytics. So before we end, let's summarize uh, the key added values that I have shown you earlier that to address the key challenges that we have discussed earlier on. And uh, the first up would be the removing silo part. We're going to need the collaborative platform to drive the collaboration between disciplines from enterprise social network to formal change processes. And to address the uh, product challenges, you need, you're going to need the product line engineering to optimize or help you optimize, reuse and maximize your portfolio coverage. And then uh, you have the unified uh, configuration management uh, to manage the diversity across domains because of the uh, working environment that has been changed. And also last but not least, for the uh, project manager specifically, you need, you're going to need a real-time in key indicators for continuous product, uh, project uh, tracking and for you to make an early decision. So that's the end of the uh, demonstration and presentation. Uh, I think it's over to you, Iskanda. Thank you, Azrin for that uh, wonderful presentation and demonstration. Uh, I have a little bit of technical issue on my side. Uh, it's not yours. Uh, I accidentally opened another uh, YouTube browser tab just now. So it takes a lot of my bandwidth uh, together with. Uh, uh, but uh, now my video feed is OK and stable. Uh, so to to progress further with our uh, webinar session for today, we are gonna break. Uh, we're gonna take a short break. Uh, in the meanwhile, I will uh, open a short video, and after this short video, Azrin, we are going to dive straight away into our Q and A session. Okay, it's okay. So, I'm not sure whether it's my network or is it my laptop right now? It's lagging on me. Okay, so now I will play uh, the short video and we will see you uh, back again uh, during our q session after this video. that our system, the OAC 3.0 monitoring system, had won an international award 
which is the annual meeting award that was held in Dubai during the 31st of October 2020. Since the OSPROF system is built from the same framework and team that built our system, I am confident of this system capabilities. Thank you. Okay, so welcome back uh, to our Q&A session. I have uh, crossed through our chat area and see whether we have any questions coming from the audience. Uh, we haven't got any question from our audience through our chat area, but I do have some questions here uh, in my uh, WhatsApp channel. Okay, let me open my WhatsApp for a little bit. Okay, this is the first question that came through my WhatsApp. I will flash the question in our screen for you, Azrin, to read it. Okay, the, the question is related, I think, to the uh, normal way of doing things in the client's company whereby they already use Microsoft Project for their product uh, management or product development management. So I think the question is not that complete, but uh, I do think that the question is related to how the, the questioner can maybe integrate between Microsoft Project, where, uh, which they have been familiarized themselves with, to our product development management that you have uh, showcased earlier. I think that that's the context of the question. Uh, so maybe you can tackle this question, Azrin. Uh, yes, uh, sure, Iskandar. Um, so many companies uh, may have leveraged uh, project, Microsoft project uh, to lay out an initial product development plan, schedule and whatnot. However, um, as I said during the presentation or demonstration, without the connectivity to the complexities of tasks associated with your 3D data or product development data, uh, including your simulation, all your uh, change management, issue registers, so you need all of that connected. So if you are not connected, then most plans are quickly going to be obsolete and also irrelevant because you're going to get the old uh, data. And you're gonna make your decision based on that old data. So you need a status report uh, that is uh, outlined in our present, uh, in in my presentation earlier. And then we get, you're gonna need such a real time dashboard because it will help you to reduce uh, the time or time consumption and also uh, to help uh, your plan or schedule a little bit more to be a little bit more accurate than you than the one that you are familiar with right now mm. okay mm -hmm. yep yep i think uh the uh the audience should uh appreciate the the concept of unified platform that we presented earlier yeah, whereby right. Uh, the status update is not only the responsibility of the project planner or, or the organizational planner himself or herself, but the responsibility can be shared to the project manager themselves, whereby the project manager can update their own status and the update will be uh, recorded automatically into the, uh, the scheduling planning. So, it, as, as Azran said, it is a real-time data, not really... Uh, 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 time time dependent uh, event whereby mm -hmm. uh, normally the project uh, the project update status is is done either during the midday session or end of the day session. So right. this is a real time uh, event. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I think this question is quite related to the second question that I have received in my WhatsApp channel where I have pasted it into our chat area also. Uh, we have a formal program management office with their own set of project management tools uh, such as Primavera. Uh, okay, I think this is uh, related to the first question, right, Azrin? Yes, uh, of course, many larger companies do indeed uh, have leverage solution 
a powerful solution like Primavera. So again, this solution do not, I will emphasize on that, do not manage the complexity involved when you are dealing with the product development processes, all 3D data. So you do not have, uh, and, and Primavera do not have a platform for storing and managing all of, all of the data uh, associated uh, with uh, taking a product through the very complex, uh, very complex development process. So if this tool is in place, we should consider an integration strategy and mm. uh, or other any coexistent alternatives for that. Yep, yep. Because uh, every software have their own uh, pro and cons, uh, not, not to leave our own product as well, but uh, if you can integrate the pros of every uh, project management software out there into the unified platform and benefit more uh, by using our uh, unified 3D experience platform, it is going to be very beneficial to everyone. Mm -hmm. sure. uh, okay, oh, I think indirectly uh, what we discussed earlier on uh, is answering the next question, which I'm yes. going to <laughs> flash it. Uh, into our screen because mm -mm. I'm, I'm 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 reading through the top chat as well <laughs> oh you see <laughs> yeah. it, because top chat uh it, it's not appearing into into our main main screen right so mm -mm. by flashing the question into our main screen it's easier for the other audience which will be seeing this recording to understand uh, our discussion okay Okay, I have clicked on the uh, question banner and I think it will pop up very soon. I think my, I may need a new laptop. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting heavier. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, yeah. How are the solutions from ES beneficial to my company? As we discussed earlier on during our uh, during our session of answering the two questions earlier, I think this is indirectly answering this question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, the the whole system solutions or the industry solution experience that we have seen just now basically provide a unique, integrated and uh, complementary set of solutions to drive the product development. So the key, the key word here is the product development uh, data. So we have the balance risk uh, mitigation and also uh, we saw the resource management. So while delivering the necessity visibility uh, for the business KPI. So if such, uh, such solution drive growth, it will improve your uh, efficiency and also increase the time to deliver uh, products to market. Mm. Mm. Okay, the next question, I don't think I have the the knowledge or experience on deliberating it, uh, but maybe you can understand understand the question a little bit more, Azrin, and shed some light to us. Okay, the question is, how can a company benefit from this solution if some system for determining product requirements or creating product design cannot be replaced yet by Innovia. Okay, so basically it's looking into uh, something that is out of uh, the reach of the so solution. So companies can leverage the so system federation and also connective capability to reference data from other system. This is uh, somewhat similar to the one that we uh, uh, explained just now, Iskandar, uh, the Primavera. Mm. So we need to leverage other system, bringing the data together in a transparent and yet entirely functional environment. So uh, this traceability provides uh, the exact same, uh, same uh, functionality uh, as if the data existed natively in Innovia. Of course, uh, you are doing your uh, project management using your own sets of tools such as the Primavera, uh, and for, for example, you can always do uh, an integration strategy, okay? And so that mm. it can be read by the uh, platform and then you will gain ma maximum benefits uh, delivered if the uh, Innovia program and project management governs all of the aspect, of course. But if you already have that, and then we have to, uh, to uh, find a coexistence alternative for it. All right. Okay. Uh... I think I may I may add another facet for this question uh, because uh, after reading through this question several times, I 
uh, I have some idea of how we can uh, approach this uh, because the question asking us about uh, a systems for determining product requirements or creating product designs. So based from your presentation and demonstration just now, we have uh, showcased one of the capability is doing some comparative, uh, comparative uh, product selection. Right, yeah. Azrin? Whereby yeah. we have a 3D product, we have a 3D part, and then we search for the market, we search from the market, similar product to it, and mm -hmm. from the search result, we can do some comparisons uh, in, 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 in several uh, criteria. One of the criteria, maybe we can compare it uh, on the pricing uh, or on the vendor. on the weight or, mm -hmm. or vendor, yeah, on mm -hmm. the uh, availability or speed mm -hmm. of a uh, supplier, etc. Yep. Mm -hmm. So maybe that is a new uh, method of doing things as compared to a more traditional approach uh, done by uh, other industry or normal industry in Malaysia. Yep. That's key features there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I really like the concept of comparison, uh, comparing the the available product in market to our own design. Because mm -hmm. as a product in, product engineer or uh, design engineer, it's very crucial for us to know what is out there so that we can cut our design time short more and focus on the more uh, elaborate design. Yep. Yep. Agree. Uh. Okay. So. Let I quickly go through the chat area again and see whether we have covered all of the questions given here. I have uh, the last question in my list and I'm trying to click it. I'm not sure why my laptop is behaving like this. Okay. <laughs> so the last question that we have for today is this one, how can we continue to use our company's unique program uh, management methodologies? Uh, so yep, every company have their own set standard and rules uh, regarding their project management. So maybe they are looking for application or solution that is flexible and powerful enough to cater for their unique methodologies. Yeah, Azrin? Yep, uh, this is a common question when we are dealing with software or tools such as uh, 3D experience because normally uh, we are bound to the idea or concept of the developer of that software right but you know we are basically mm. doesn't force a single project uh, methodology on customers different methodologies or back, uh, best practices can be implemented uh, as a templates Right, so companies can promote consistent use of their back practice, uh, best uh, practices by having new projects following a specific templates uh, based on different aspects of the project that they are communicating. Uh, you, you can even use questionnaires uh, uh, when you are creating uh, when you are creating that 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 project. So basically, it, it is well suited for any uh, for any user. Uh, yes, we have a certain ways to create and also to manage but uh, we also encourage you to uh, to contact us and also we're we gonna help us uh, we're gonna help you to configure to meet your mm. business process or to meet your uh, requirements so that uh, that transition will be seamless it's not like uh, having uh, another another uh, tools all over uh, you, that, that uh, having another tool that you're going to need to learn from uh, from from scratch okay mm. yep yep uh, as i mentioned earlier during our opening speech uh, we are a group of experts in uh, daso system solution suites we are not only a uh, sort of a seller of the solution we also are consultants for our own solution towards your own uh, unique needs mm -hmm. okay so hopefully i have covered all the questions given to me through my WhatsApp channel. Uh, okay, before we wrap up, Azrin, do you have anything or any points more to add uh, to your uh, earlier presentation? Mm, I think uh, the last bit that I want to share is just to stay safe. Although we are 
moving from FASA 1 to now Labuan has FASA 4. Uh, just to keep in mind that we are still in the uh, MCO term. So keep your distance check in check. Always wear a double mask. If you have a, a face shield, just wear them. Yes, it will be. It will be. Uh, it will look awkward at first, <laughs> but then uh, for the safety of uh, ourselves and also our families, uh, I would suggest and, re and recommend you, everyone, including me myself, to to be uh, vigilant uh, most of the time. Okay. All right. Thank you for that uh, closing remark, Azrin. Uh, All right. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so uh, thank you guys for joining us in our public live webinar. Uh, do check out my other video in my channel here. Uh, I have several videos related to Katia, related to how you can use uh, knowledgeware in Katia to further optimize your design works. Uh, and also it, we have covered a lot of topics in our uh, previous live webinars. So you can always uh, check uh, the recording of those webinars in my channel and if you have any further questions related to any public live webinar that we have hosted you can always uh, put your questions in the comment area because we are going to check the public live webinar recordings uh, regularly to see if any Uh, I thank you again for joining us and uh, we will see you again in two weeks time with another public live webinar. All right. Thank you so much again. See you next time. Bye-bye.